there's our referee for this afternoon's game, Ron Fournier, who is a backup official in the National Hockey League, actually spending most of his time right now working in the American Hockey League, but an NHL official will be working this game. And a look now at the starting goaltenders. Uh, to your right, Yissi Kronik and Bob Dupuy will start this game. Tom, I think we're going to see two goaltenders in this game for uh, Canada's Olympians. Yes, well, uh, we had planned uh, in today's game to play Bob Dupuy the first 30 minutes, no matter what happens, and then Paul Peugeot the last 30 minutes. Dupuy, a uh, former athlete of the year in the North Bay area. He played in the Northern Ontario Hockey Association Junior League. That's Tier 2 hockey. And more recently with Senior A Hockey with the Barry Flyers in Ontario. Play is underway now. It's from the faceoff of center ice. Kevin Maxwell circling back inside his own blue line. Clears it out over center ice. Digging back for it is Anton Stosny. He shoots it out to center ice. And the puck comes in against the boards. Working along the boards is Greg, but he is taken out of the play. And the puck is cleared out to center ice. Stosny to the line. Stosny over the line along with Perry on Stosny. Good hit in the corner now. The puck is cleared away by Kevin Maxwell out over center ice. We've got a race for it now as Barry's in after it. Along with Yussi Bubla, the veteran defenseman. And Bubla leaves it there for Zindel. Zindel clearing it along the boards out to center ice. And Maxwell's got it. Maxwell circling back inside his own blue line for Canada. He shoots it to center ice. Zindel after it. Cleared away. And the puck is down over the line. The play came in ahead of the play. And it's called on the offside. Well, the Czechoslovakian national team and Canada have met a number of times. And there you see the scores. Back in September, that was the Rudy Provo tournament in Prague, 9-2. to two. But since then, Canada has had a certain amount of success against Czechoslovakia. First of January against the B team, it was 5-1 to one Canada. And against the B team again on January 3rd, 4-3 Canada. And uh, at the bottom of that list, that Saturday night game last week which Canada was a winner, 6-3. Out at center ice now with the puck, Glenn Anderson. He's over the line. The puck goes into the corner. Anderson's there with it. Anderson trying to get it in front, and it's cleared away by the defense. Out to center ice, digging after it. There is Martinez. Martinez over the line, and he checked on the play by Don Spring, and the puck is in the corner. Tim Waters. Waters along the boards, out to center ice. It hops over the stick of Dvorak and on the far boards, bringing it in over the line is Jim Hill. He's checked on the play. Here's a chance now for Anderson, and he can't get it out in front of the net. Puck piles up in the corner, and they lost sight of the puck, and it ended up on the far boards. Coming out of his hand is Martinez at center ice. Martinez over the line. Martinez circling the defense. Gets in front. And alertly covering up and clearing it away on the play with Kim Waters. Behind the net. It's cleared along the boards. Kept in, out of the net now is Dupuy. He leaves it there, gives it to the defense. Waters, Waters in the corner. Waters firing it off the back boards. There it's Spring, Spring over to the far side. Waters can't pick it up. It's cleared in front of the net. Here's a chance for Breitz there. And the puck is cleared out to center ice away from the point. Alupa over on the far side, getting it uh, to Naliba. Naliba shooting it in and back to get it. Is Cutlets, Cutlets unable to get loose. Spring in there, third in front of the net. It's stopped by the skate of Waters. Waters comes away with it to center ice now and hoists it down the ice. And the bouncing puck will roll into the corner. It's touched there by Neliba and called for the icing. One of the things you have to do against, uh, here we see the Czechoslovakian bench. There's Ludy Bukic and Carl uh, uh, Good. Uh, both of these coaches have been there for a while. We see Glenny Anderson going off the Canadian bench. And, you have to try and change your players up very quickly against them because they keep the pace of the game as high as they possibly can, and you don't want to get out there too long so that you can't do the job. From the faceoff, the draw is won by Canada. This is cleared into the corner by Dalvis. Now out at center ice, Grant shooting it over the line, and it stopped there, and cleared back out to center ice, covering up his Peary. Peary turning. He shoots it into the Czechoslovak zone. Dalvis after it. The puck is hooked behind the net. Here's a chance for Canada. That's the back out in front and now with Peary after it in the corner puck into the boards Noby Noby clearing it Rick wide out to center ice and at center ice it's Coberle Coberle shooting it into the Canadian zone behind his own net Joe Grant Grant clearing it to the boards number three is Peary he gets it out to center ice where it's gobbled up by Coberle Coberle leaving it off for Stusney that's Marion Stusney he clears it over two lines and it'll be brought back on the offside for a base off a few feet inside the Czechoslovak blue line. Well, the one thing.
thing we have to worry about, I guess, Tom, with this uh, Czechoslovakia team is their offense. They can put the puck in the net. Well, certainly uh, they have all the experienced forwards. They're capable of scoring a lot of goals in any game. Very high-scoring team. Bobla with the puck. He shoots it out to center ice. And speaking of offense, there's one of the best offensive defensemen in the world. There's Dalvin the shot on the net by Stasny. Puck is in against the board. They move it along the board, trying to get it out. Finally, it's brought to center ice, but Primo is unable to control it. And now, at center ice, Marion Stasny, number 18, to the line. Stasny working to the board. He's bodied out of the play by Randy Gregg, the team captain for the Olympics. Now, out to center ice it comes once again. Taken by Vitislav. He loses it. On the far boards once again, Stusty. Stusty puts it right onto the stick of Warren Anderson. Anderson back to the far side. Greg. Greg shooting it in. And back into his own end is Bubla once again. Number 19. Out to almost intercepted right at the blue line by Devaney. Now over the line. Here's a chance to shot. Just bounces wide. Good save there by Dupuy. Who did a good job of cutting off the angle. Now in the corner. They roll it in front. And it's blocked by the defense this time. They score. And went off the back of Dupuy's leg. And into the net. And Czechoslovakia leads one to nothing. Well, these are the ones that hurt. Here we see the puck. It comes loose in the corner. We didn't have quite the clearing that we should have had. The puck goes into the corner. There's the first opportunity. Here we see the shot coming right out of the corner. Seems to heat, hit Dupi on the back of the, uh, the inside pad and go in behind it. But certainly we didn't have control of the puck in our own zone. And uh, you don't like to go behind this hockey club early in the game. All right. One to nothing. The score. From the face off now, it's back into the Czechoslovak zone. Malupa, Malupa trying to bring it away. It's off the back of the skate as Maxwell's in for checking. Now, uh, cleared away inside the zone. Here's a quick wrist shot taken by Barry behind the net now. Circling away from the checking is Dvorak. Into the corner of the far side now. Taken by Abermann. He's the captain for Czechoslovakia. Spring gets it in center ice. He's got people trapped inside the blue line. Now gives it off on the far side to Paul McLean. It's taken by Tim Waters, number five. He hits the line and a shot, and it's a good one. And acrobatically, Relic goes down. Well, here we have Tim Waters just moving over that line, letting the puck go when the Czechoslovakian defense gave him all kinds of room just to move up in, and Kralik just was able to close his legs on that puck there to keep it from the net. With the score, Czechoslovakia one, Canada nothing. This is CTV's Wide World of Sports. The CTV will be featuring the 13th Olympic Winter Games in Lake Placid, New York, February 12th, 14th, and 16th. You'll see Olympic hockey between 8.30 and 11, the best of the world. Czechoslovakia, Canada, USSR, USA, Sweden, Finland, all going for gold. As the puck is over the line now into the Czechoslovak zone. There it into the corner. There's Nil with it. Nil. Loses it in the corner as he is checked to Stusty. Stusty clears it out to center ice, and it's gobbled up out there by Grant. Grant trying to clear it rink wide. That went off Neil's skate. And going back to pick it up will be Davidson. Davidson to this side. Terry O'Malley. A mid-ear face. Clears it down into the Czechoslovak end. Taken there by number 19, Bubla. Bubla to Zindel. Zindel gets it out to center ice, but turning with it is Davidson. Now he fires it back into his own end, and Joe Grant will go back to get it as Dupuy leaves it for him. Grant on the boards for O'Malley. O'Malley getting it up over the glass, called for another faceoff. Czechoslovakia leading this one one to nothing. And the faceoff will take place outside the blue line as Czechoslovakians have Novak out there along with Mark Nets and Abermann, a veteran line. On the faceoff. Taken for Team Canada by Greg. He shoots it down into the next zone. And it, here come the Czechs once again as the puck is fired out to center ice. At the center ice area. Novak. Novak shooting it in. Behind the net is Anderson having trouble. Now he's got it. Anderson over to the far side. Randy Gregg at the blue line at center ice. Ahead now, down over the line comes Team Canada. Dalvis clearing it in front and tied up on the play in front of the net was Peary. Good defensive work there by Czechoslovakia. Now Peary gets it again behind the net. Now getting a whack at it is Dalvis. Now Peary right out in front. And it's the outstretched stick of Sutatsik. Now a 
Abramson, center right. Four tackles to lock in. Abramson, he stopped, gets it again on the far floor, checks again, and the puck is poked ahead. Zapatnik shooting it in. Out of his net is Krelik. He leaves it for Novak. That's uh, correction, Halupa bringing it out. At center right, Primo. Primo jammed in against the board. So is Devani. And they'll hold it there for a face-off here. Czechoslovakia's back. Well, we had a little flurry there, a few opportunities. And uh, one of the things that uh, is very important here uh, in, in trying to hear, we have the goal scorer, Anton Stasny, who put the Czechoslovakian team ahead with that shot from the corner. But one of the things, you can't let the Czechoslovakians get too far ahead of you. The same with most European teams. Once they get a long way in the lead, they just keep adding to it and just makes your job a lot tougher. So Anton Stasny is off sitting on the bench who scored that goal. Zindel getting the assist as the puck is at center ice now working down to the line and unable to get through is Waters. And he backhanded it just wide. Now out at center ice it's Waters turning with it once again. He hoists it down to the Czechoslovak blue line. Circling with it now away from the checking is Coverle. He gets it rinked wide. Now shooting at the center ice is Breitzer. Over to the far boards it goes. And it's Mozar over the line. His shot on the short side is juggled momentarily. And cleared out in front. Here's a shot. That's partially deflected. Good work there by goaltender Bob Rupley as he took it out of the crowd and stopped further action. Got a chance to take a look at that shot on goaltender Yussi Krelik. Here we see Kevin Primo just taking it away from the Czechoslovakian defender and just scooping the puck wide of the glove hand of Krelik, but uh, quite close there, trying to come within just inches of tying up the hockey game here. Face off will be to the right of Canada's goal. Puck is cleared to Czechoslovakia. It's out to the blue line now. Bubla getting a shot away. They shoot in the ball. They net his off at four rings for one thing. I did not see the light go on. And Ron Fournier, the referee, is over at the bench. And I believe he has called it a goal. Yes, he has. We still haven't seen the light there. It hit the post, went across the goal mouth, and I think just barely crossed the line. Well, I think it hit both posts and, uh, and went behind Bob Dupuy. We didn't have a good angle here, but here we see the shot coming from the point from Bubla. There's the try for the deflection in the first case. The little scoop. There it hits one post, moves across. We don't see it hit the other post, but apparently it did go behind Bob Dupuy. Well, it'll be Kotletz who will get the goal. Number eight for Czechoslovakia. Turning with it now inside his own end under pressure is Terry O'Malley. O'Malley fighting off a check. Can't get it out of the line. Over the line, rather. Over to the far boards it goes now. Novak. Novak shooting it down to the net. Here's a chance now for Dvorak, but he hooked it wide. Now it's out in front again, and O'Malley cleared that away. Out in front, here's a chance again. A shot, they score! Edmond has scored to make it 3 to nothing. Well, maybe the Czechoslovakian team here. Maybe uh, here we see the an another look at it. The puck goes in. They control it inside the zone. They throw it in front. The little deflection to the far side comes a little bit later on. Here they're controlling it again, throwing it in front. Here's Averman having time. Watch this shot. He just puts it over to Puy's shoulder. Here it is. Whoops. Right over the shoulder, over the glove hand, just underneath the bar. So, Averman, Boslav Averman, another veteran, has put Czechoslovakia into a 3-0 lead in this game. Right, and Nets will get an assist on this one. During the midway point of the first period. 3-0, Czechoslovakia leading. The face-off at center ice. Valvis wins the draw. Back to Greg. Greg trying to feed Neil out at center ice. He finally got him on the second try. And now it's over on this side. And cleared in by Anderson. Now behind the net. Here's a chance for Canada, but they can't find anybody in the slot area. And Novi got it. Behind the net. They start out at center ice. Taken there by Fritzer. Fritzer's over the line. His shot's right on. And another shot that went wide off a stick. Now Novi. Novi tried to get it out in front. There directly in front of the net and bringing it out for Team Canada. That's Anderson. Anderson over the line. Anderson into the corner right on top of him as Naliba gets it out in front. All the defensemen were playing in deep. And players unable to protect the point, and the puck came out at center ice. Now Coverley, Coverley over the line. He drops it for Novi. Novi getting set, rolls it in front. It's loose there. They get a second whack at it. Another shot that's wide. Now around behind the net, Anderson putting it into the corner. A high sticking penalty will be called. 
A high sticking penalty called. The score, Czechoslovakia three, Canada nothing. This is CTV's Wide World of Sports. There's John Devaney from Edmonton, graduate of the University of Alberta, business degree or commerce degree. Most valuable player at the University of Alberta last year. The team that won the national championship allegiantly. Now Dvorak back in his own end. Over the far side for Nove. Dvorak behind his net. He'll just leave it there now for Yussi Novak. Novak starting out. Novak just poking it out to center ice. Abermann's over the line. Abermann has a goal here. He dropped it off. Primo stopped it. And it's cleared away by Canada and Devaney. And back to get it. For Czechoslovakia, Miroslav Dvorak. Dvorak is on his way out of the zone now, just taking his time. And the penalty has just expired as the puck is cleared off to the right side. Novak clears it in behind the net. After it there is Joe Grant from Canada. Primo is jammed in against the boards. They'll pin it in there, and it's called for a face-off. Well, there we see uh, Kevin Primo, and he's an outstanding skater. He works very, very hard, a very hard checker, does a lot of our good forechecking, and that was one of the keys uh, to the game in Calgary, and maybe we're having a little problem tonight, a little bigger ice surface here at the Forum. The forechecking works very well when the uh, opposition doesn't have the same amount of uh, time to handle the puck, especially a team like the Czechoslovakian national team. Well, a certain amount of experience with that big ice surface for Primo played in Davos, Switzerland last year. Down on the left side is Berry. Berry in against the boards. McLean. McLean loses it. Here's a chance for Czechoslovakia. He's breaking loose now. Down over the line comes Pozar. He gets set in front of that. He shoots and scores. Pozar had a break and made a good move and brought a Bob Dupuy and put it home to make it 4 nothing Czechoslovakia. Well, see, the play as it unfolds from the blue line, and the defense got caught. Well, uh, really, the defense uh, didn't get caught as much as Paul McLean trying to throw the puck rink-wide from just inside the blue line. Pozart getting the uh, breakaway, makes a little move to the side, puts the puck behind Dupuy. But one thing you have to do when you get the puck over the line, you have to drive deep, take that defender deep before you make your play. You can't make the play at the line. By the way, we should mention the shots on goal right now are 11 to 1. Favor, Czechoslovakia. They have four goals and they have dominated this one territorially as the puck is cleared into the corner now. Racing after it down there is Barry. He clears it behind the net. In deep is Paul McClain, number 17, behind the net for Kevin Maxwell. Well, this is the big scoring line for the Olympians. They clear it out to the blue line, just crosses the line, and unable to contain it there was Ken Berry. And now Czechoslovakia feeding it back into their own end. Zindel, number two, over to the far side. Vinislav clearing it out, gets it again. Now on this side, Bubla. Bubla at center ice. Maxwell's back in over the line. Now Maxwell winding up the shot again right on. And a pile up in front of the net. But under all of that is Kralik, and he held on. Here we see Paul McLean. Throwing that pass, the puck gets in his skates, and Bubla, the experienced defenseman, just moves up and zingo. And that, that hurts, and uh, Stelio's having a hard time getting up off his knees here, a little slow. Hopefully he'll be all right. Well, they had him lined up perfectly, and uh, when he saw, he saw the uh, check thrown, it uh, was as he was trying to pick up the skate out of his uh, skates, and uh, I think Bubla's been given a penalty on it. Don't forget, on Sunday night on CTV between 7 and 8 o'clock Eastern Time, you'll see a CTV special, a preview of the 13th Winter Olympic Games at Lake Placid. And you'll get an idea of the form of the games, the location of the various venues, the facilities, and they are tremendous ones that have been built and constructed for the world's best athletes in Lake Placid, New York. That's Sunday night between 7 and 8 o'clock on CTV. Puck has bounced in as Team Canada now on a power play. Bubla has been given an interference penalty. Puck is in the corner. After it there is for Canada. is Anderson. He gets it around to the far boards now. Starting out is Randy Gregg at center ice. Gregg now he hit the line himself. Gregg goes all the way through and he was just knocked off stride as he hit the line by Naliba. Now behind the net. Into the corner it goes. Devaney right out of front. A shot went right on. And the short time. And he got it down a little higher than been in the net. Now it's center ice, Anderson. Anderson ahead, over the line comes Devaney. And he just couldn't go to the stick handle on it. And it's taken away by Vitislav and shot down the ice. Out of the net is Dupuy. He holds onto the puck and then leaves it there for Anderson. Anderson, number two for Canada. At center ice, 
Over to the far boards it goes. Devani is over the line. It's shoveled off into the corner by Primo. Behind the net, now rolling on it. And a chance there was there. Now here's Greg clearing it into the slot. He's checked on the play, and the puck is out at center ice once again. Now cleared away, right onto the stick of Anderson. Anderson to the far boards with 47 seconds left in the penalty. Now starting out for Canada at center ice. It's Pirelli. Pirelli over the line. He's checked, and the puck is back out at center ice once again. Check thrown there by Anderson. It's cleared in over the line. Maxwell digging after it, but out of the net to clear it away is Kralik. But Canada still has it inside the zone, although unable able to maintain possession of it was Maxwell. Now here's Waters with a shot, and he hooked that just wide of the net. Spring at this point. Clears it into the corner. Maxwell. Maxwell along the boards. Again, Spring after it. Gives it to Maxwell. Maxwell cutting into the slot now. To Barry. And it goes off a couple of legs. And there'll be a tripping penalty called. With nine seconds remaining in the penalty to Bubla, a tripping penalty is going to be called against Czechoslovakia's Vladimir Machnitz. Well, one of the things that's really uh, puzzled me about the Czechoslovakian uh, team here tonight is when they've killed that penalty, usually they chase you. They chase you all over the place. They don't set up in a zone. They don't come back in their wings. They forecheck you aggressively. They, they chase you when you've got possession of the puck in their zone. And they were content to let us have the puck a little bit there and give us some room to operate. And we did have a few good chances uh, moving that puck around. But uh, usually they chase, 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 try to get you to give up the puck. All right, for a few seconds, it'll be a two-man advantage. The puck is kicked out to center ice, so that will just about end the two-man advantage as Waters gets it at his own blue line. Bubla about to come out of the penalty box. Spring gets the puck at center ice. Spring being pressed there by Novi. Now Spring gets the return pass, then feeds it back across ice again to Waters. At center ice, Waters gets it again. Spring as Canada having trouble getting underway here. Now to the boards. It's cleared in by McLean. Puck behind the Czechoslovakian net. Neleba. Neleba checked on the play. Puck goes in against the glass on the far board. Now it's cleared out into the slot, but there's nobody there that can reach that one as Bubla, the veteran, shoots it down the ice. And going back for it will be Waters. Waters behind his own net. Waters will start out. Waters with that puck to the far boards. There it's Maxwell. Maxwell over the line and just couldn't get through as it's hooked away from him by Kaberle. Number 15 for Czechoslovakia. Now against the boards, Maxwell. Maxwell gets a return pass there from Barry. They try to get it out in front. There's a chance. The shot's right off. Second shot. Just failing to deflect it there was Barry. Out to the blue line it comes. Waters clearing it in against the boards. Maxwell. Maxwell circling away. Now try to get it behind the net. Here's a chance as they try to work out into the area in front of the net, but they were checked once again. Now Waters with 43 seconds left in the power play and shot between the defensemen and down the ice. And Dupuy will came, come way out of his net and leave it for Spring. Spring starting out. Spring at center ice. Clearing it ahead off Barry's stick, but it's over the line into Czechoslovakia territory. It's cleared out to center ice once again. 24 seconds left in the penalty as... Once again, Czechoslovakia gets control and Stasny and Marian Stasny clearing it in. Spring on this side. Ahead at center ice, McLean. But again, a check thrown as Sindel turns away with it. Sindel to the line. Sindel is offside as breaking in too quickly on the left side was Marian Stasny. Well, that hurts when you're down four to zero and you have two consecutive power plays. There we see Bobby Dupuis. If you have those two consecutive power plays, you'd like to think you come up with a goal and try to get back in the hockey game. And uh, against the Czechoslovakian team, you've got to capitalize on those opportunities because in some of those close games, that's the difference. Whether How well you operate when you've got the man advantage and how well you can play when you're shorthanded. But you've got to put that puck in the net when you've got the advantage. Four to nothing, Czechoslovakia leading. 22 seconds remaining in the first period as the puck is cleared down into Czechoslovakian territory. They get it out to center ice. O'Malley unable to contain it there as it's hooked away by Martinet in over the line now. Uh, with the puck was Marion Stusney, but a shot right back out again. And Nil takes a hit as he backed up with the puck. And it's in Czechoslovakian territory as the siren goes to end the first period. Czechoslovakia decided winners of that period. Four to nothing is the score. They outshot Canada 12 to 5 in the period. So at the end of the first period, the score, Czechoslovakia 4, Canada nothing. We'll return with the second period. Coming up next, an Olympic preview, the Nordic combined. Canada territory. Ron Davidson taking the draw. Puck is hooked into the corner. 
Warren Anderson, number two, feeds it back behind his own net. Randy Gregg, team captain for Canada. Gregg hitting it straight up ice. And again, we're going to get icing. A little bit of a disturbing pattern as it's touched. And they beat him to the puck in the corner, so the icing is wiped out. Here's Gregg, fanned on it, rolled in front, and trying to poke it over to his teammate in front was Glenn Anderson, but unable to control it as he got it caught up in his skates. Marion Stosny. Stosny starting out. He's it ahead and off a stick. Digging in deep is Peter Stosny. Stosny rolls it out in front. Nobody there. Jim Neal, number 12, feeds it back into his own corner. And Warren Anderson has got it. Greg. Greg along the boards. Center ice Davidson at center ice for Anderson. Anderson over the line. Neal. Neal into the corner. And he's chased away from it. Here's a chance for Greg. He gets in front of the shot. Taylor Krolik and then went out the far side. It's pinned in against the boards and called for a face-off. Well, maybe we can get another look at this. Uh, here we had Jimmy Nill and Glenny Anderson moving over the boards. And here's one of the things where here's Glenny Anderson throwing the puck to Nill, moving to the net. And you see Randy Gregg just coming in late. Here's Randy moving over the line, getting the opportunity. The puck seems to go between the legs uh, of the Czechoslovakian goaltender and out the other side. But a close call from Canada. All right, the face-off will be deep in Czechoslovak territory, and it rolls right to the goal from the face-off. Third into the corner. We're working behind the net there, that's Del Vise in for checking. Martin Nets, number 10, bounces it out towards the blue line, but it's still in Czechoslovak territory as Novak is forced to circle back, and we've got a little pushing and shoving going on between Stereo Zopancic. I believe also Milan Halupa was involved. No, we're going to get the, the penalty to the Czechoslovakian defender, and this is what they're doing all the time. They got called three times. I was wondering when referee Bernier was going to uh, crack down on this. We got the opportunity. The Czechoslovakians love to screen and hold on their breakouts. They love to interfere with your four checkers, and they're always in your way. It's normally considered in, in North America to be interference, but here we have the Czechoslovakian. There we have him. See, oops. See, he's supposed to be screening him at this point here. There you see the man trying to get out uh, the puck out of the Czechoslovakian end circling behind the two of them, but he actually had a hold of the passage, preventing him from going uh, to the Czechoslovakian, trying to move the puck out of his own zone. All right, we've got the power play again. Working to the side of the net now, shot wide of the net, digging over to the far side is Don Springs. He feeds it behind the net. There's Del Vise. Del Vise along the boards. Waters trying to reach for it. He's got the puck. Waters shoveling it into the corner now. They'll try and fight a man at the point if they can. Waters, Waters, one-handing that puck along the boards. He gets the man at the point now. Del Vise getting set, feeds it in. There it's Stepancic. He rolls it back out to the blue line now. There's taken by Del Vise. In for Stepancic. Zupancic circling into the corner now. The crowd getting excited. The puck rolls out in front. And unable to control it was Glenn Anderson. And it rolls out to center ice. He just got that one caught in his skates. Spring shoots it in. It's fired right back out over center ice by Dvorak. Now here comes Canada again. Waters coming to the line for Spring. Spring is over the line. Oh, here's Zupancic. Zupancic looking for the man in front. It does. He finds him. But standing on the shot was Glenn Anderson. And a puck comes to goaltender Yissi Kralik, and it's called for a face-off. And we've got a little more talk going on between Zapancic this time and Jan Neleba, number three for Czechoslovakia. Well, uh, there we see Kralik uh, uh, straightening out his mask. But here was the close call. Zapancic had the puck free at the side of the net. Here we see him looking, looking. He throws it. Glenny Anderson moving just in front of the net, just fails to tip that puck uh, over Kralik in the Czechoslovakian net. Out there now, John Devaney gets the draw. Puck is intercepted in the corner by Coberley, and he flips it out to center ice. Racing after it there was uh, number 23, Pozar. They're back into Czechoslovakian territory. Naliba, Naliba shooting it out over center ice. We've got 45 seconds left in the power play. Back in front of his own net now, Warren Anderson. Anderson over to the side for Devaney. Devaney at center ice. Devano hitting the line, still controls that puck. Primo reaches for it. Devaney chases it over to the far side, but they can't control it. Novi racing after the center ice, but Anderson took it. Now it's clear to the line. Spun around as he hit the line was Pozar. And it is called. And I believe we'll get interference called here. Well, I think that was a little bit of a dive taken by Pozar. You people judge for yourself. But Randy Gregg is getting the penalty. It, you just hate this. Here we see Milan Novi moving. Warren Anderson just tips it off the boards. The puck goes to Pozar. 
Well, maybe a little bit of the snow. Oops, there's a little spin around and so on. Well, maybe one more spin than he needed to do going down there. But Randy Gregg gets the thumb. That comes with 25 seconds remaining in the Halupa penalty. 4 nothing. Czechoslovakia leading. And there he is, Randy Gregg, a doctor of medicine. He has his degree, graduate. Played for the University of Alberta Golden Bears, who were the CIAU champions the last two years under Coach Claire Drake. Took your title away from you, Tom. Tom's not saying anything. A bitter pill, right? <laughs> Out to the blue line it comes. Here's uh, Vitislav. Vitislav gets it over to this side. Bubla. Bubla getting set in front. Nicely blocked at the defense by Waters. Gets the boards now. It's hammered off the boards. Barry can't get out. Cleared in deep from uh, the blue line by Stasny. And circling away with it is Kevin Maxwell. Maxwell goes down as he tried to come out of his own zone. And moving back to make a good check there was Don Strick. Very alert on that play as Tim Waters shoots it down the ice. 128 remaining in the power play for Czechoslovakia now as Team Canada changes on the go. Stasny, Peter Stasny, one of two brothers on the team. Gets it out to center ice. There it's taken by Yiddy. Uh, correction, Marion Stasny. And we're going to get a penalty called here. Fournier's got his arm up, and Canada may be winding up two men short here. Coming over the line now, and it's Stasny. Stasny feeds it to the far boards, taken by Marion Stasny. He clears it along the boards. They flip it out to the blue line, and finally Canada touches the puck. I'll tell you, I would have given the puck up right about then and, and set myself up for a two-man advantage. I agree very much, Ron. That's uh, that's a key point. This is what we uh, tell our own hockey club. Here we're going to get a look at the foul. Here we see uh, 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 Kenny Berry uh, just moving in, trying to get, but that's, you see, that's the aggravating thing that happens with the Czechoslovakian team. We see Kenny Berry in the box along with Randy Gregg. He's interfered with by the four checker, and he comes back and, and fouls the Czechoslovakian man, where possibly the original call should have been a, an interference call because that's the way they work the puck out of their own zone. But one of the things you're trying to do is you're, you, you really want to give them the puck at that point so you can have the two-man advantage for longer. And uh, really, I think the Czechoslovakian team helped us a little. Cost them 15 seconds, as a matter of fact. It's against the boards now. Czechoslovakia with a two-man advantage 45 seconds left in one of the penalties now and try to get set rolled over here's a chance for Dvorak he shot it wide it's parked right in front with Martinet it's out to the blue line Dvorak again number nine feeding it in and Aberman Aberman out to the blue line they're shooting it in his Bubla he gets it into the corner Novak back to Bubla Bubla in front of the net for Dvorak they clear it in front they score with 24 seconds left in one of the penalties Canada will still play a man short, a power play goal. Well, here we're going to have another look at it, but when really, when, when you have players uh, on the ice as the experience that Czechoslovakia had out there at that time in that power play, here we see them moving the puck. Dvorak just throwing it on the edge to Novak, putting the puck easily behind Dupuy, but when they have the two-man man, man advantage, it's pretty tough against a team like this. So with the score, Czechoslovakia 5, Canada nothing for the Montreal Forum. This is CTV's Wide World of Sports. Well, there we see Paul Peugeot, but you don't want Martinets when you just get in the net. And of course, in international hockey, you're not allowed any warm-up. You have to go in cold. And uh, Vladimir uh, Martinets just moving over the line there, just offside, a straight offside. You don't want to face him when you just come into the goal. Peugeot will be a hometown favorite here as he plays in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League with Schoenigan. On the faceoff now, it's third into Team Canada territory, but breaking out very quickly is Maxwell. Maxwell to the line now. Maxwell, along with number 17, Paul McLean, and Maxwell has spun around in the corner. Puck goes against the boards on the far side, Don Spring, and it's relayed out to center race, racing for it. There is Aberman, but he is stopped on the play by Tim Waters. Now to the line, and Maxwell takes the puck away, circling at his own blue line at center ice now. Barry stick handling to the line. This is the number one scoring line for Canada. Gets the boards. Paul McLean, number 17. McLean circling away from the checking. He rolled it out in front, but covering up on the play was Martinets, and he gets to the center ice for Novi. Novi to the line, and he had it roll off his stick. Now McLean. McLean to Maxwell. Maxwell feeding it back, and Barry coming off the ice just ignored that puck, let it go back into his own end. He was heading for the bench. Now it's cleared out over center ice, and chasing after it is Coverly. He'll take it, clear it around the boards. On this side, Pozar. Pozar back behind his net for Coverly. Coverly, Dobie. Dobie, number six. A 
long lead pass out at center ice for Fritzer. In over the line it comes. And Grant's got it. Grant for Canada. To Terry O'Malley. O'Malley's checked on the play. Fritzer going in. And Nobi gets it out in front. There's the shot right on. And Pasho took it off his chest protector and covered up very quickly on the rebound. Well, that's what you want to do the first time you're in the net. You want to get that stop. And uh, really, the, the shot hit him dead on. Here we have the puck being lost just inside the line, being hooked back. Here it comes into the slot. All in one motion from Coverley. Pajot stopping it, dropping on the rebound, getting the face off. There's the extra. Paul Pajot. A good hand for that save. As I said, he'll be a hometown favorite here. On the face off, taken by Stasty. That's Marianne Stasty. Goes back to Bubla at the blue line. And a strong fellow, that Bubla. A little bit of a battle along the boards there with uh, Canada's Jim Nill. Well, Eight times he has been to world and Olympic competition, Bubla. He really likes to move up on the play. He likes to get involved in the attack. He'll move right down, right into that slot, trying to get those goals. He loves to go on the attack. He doesn't like to stay back on that blue line. Second period action here at the Montreal Forum. 5 nothing. Czechoslovakia leading us down over the line. Comes Anderson. He gets set in front. He shoots right off. He moves. He scores! And they had scored on the rebound. It was Ron Davidson who got into that slot to pick up the rebound and ran it all past the scrolling. Is the Krelly. Well, really, it was Glenny Anderson that made the play, but Davidson started it. Davidson, right from the faceoff, threw it ahead right to the boards to try and hit uh, Glenn Anderson on the fly. Anderson picks up that puck and right around the defender. Here we see the faceoff. Watch, watch, uh, just throwing it straight ahead, right to the Here we have Anderson in full flight. Now watch him cause the confusion in front of the net. He just cuts, cuts, right in front, gets his backhand away. Kralik makes the original stop, but here we have the puck laying on the doorstep. Bubla trying to get those five. Can't do that. Here we have Ronnie Davidson reaching back, just pulling it underneath Kralik. I think it was Jim Neal that credited to. He's number 12 in the picture there, and he apparently has been credited with the goal. Now, Canada. See if they can pick it up a little bit. They still trail by four in this game as the puck is cleared out over center rice. And racing down after it for Czechoslovakia is Bohuslav Eberman. Neal from Anderson. That's the way they scored officially, and the score is 5-1. to one. Czechoslovakia still leading this one. From behind the net for Canada, Randy Gray cleared it out of the center. Here's the race for the puck, and down on the play goes Stelio Zupancic. It's pushed into the corner, and there will be a penalty. Type of play here we have some pants that said he got uh, hit by Bublon. He just moved in from his wing, trying to get behind, and was pulled down, forced to have the interference call. With the score, Czechoslovakia five, Canada one. Let's pause for a moment. the net now and Borjak in the penalty box as Canada will organize from behind his own net Don Spring out to center ice but it went off a skate and it's fired back into Canada's zone and Waters Tim Waters from Campbell BC student at Michigan Tech he starts out Waters ahead Devani at center ice now and Lamaru shooting it in racing after it is Primo Primo digs it into the corner and it's cleared away, and there's going to be another penalty call. To Czechoslovakia, I believe, for hooking. No, it's not hooking. He held the puck. Kyberly closed his hand right on the puck, and that's a two-minute penalty. You can knock him down with an open hand. There's the deflection. Off Kralik, it's against the glass. Now watch. He carries it, actually. For out. There he does, and then he throws it ahead, but he didn't close his hand on the puck. Fournier right on the play, calls the second Czechoslovakia penalty in a row. He's been strict in this hockey game. Front to six, Coverley in the penalty box, and Canada will have a two-man advantage for a minute and 15 seconds, barring any further penalties. And they have out there right now on the power play, Devaney at center, 
on right wing, Paul McLean. And on left wing, it's Kevin Primo. It's behind the net now, taken by McLean. McLean poking away at it, and they hold it in there, and it's called for a faceoff. So the penalty then, Coverly for holding the puck. And 107 left in the penalty to the Borshak. Into the corner, the puck goes. They try to clear it away. It's blocked in there. Taken by Devaney. Devaney goes down, but the puck goes all the way around to the far boards. Now Primo trying to get loose with that puck. Cleared all the way down the ice. And Waters will go back for it. Number five, Waters, behind his own net. Coming back is Devaney. As Waters starts out now, Waters at center ice. Waters ahead on the far boards for Spring. He flips it in, works into the corner after that puck. Spring jammed in there by Naliba. Cleared around the boards now. Canada try to get it out in front. Spring gets it. Spring trying to get a man in front. He's tied up back there. And it's left and cleared out in front now. Here's a chance. Here's a clear right into the net. That shot taken there by Paul McLean. Cleared into the corner past Primo. And Naliba behind his own net. Clears it out to Spring at the blue line. Spring over to this side for Waters. Waters getting set. He tried to clear it rink wide, now has to recover at the blue line. Now Waters winds up, the shot is wide. Off the back glass now, over skating it. Twice now getting it on the backhand. Here's a shot, they even shot and fanned on it. Oh, what a chance that Maxwell had. He is partially fanned on it. Not Maxwell, but McLean had a great chance at the side of the net. Well, here we have him controlling the puck behind the net, but we shouldn't really try to control behind the net. The puck's at the point. The original shot here, you see Timmy Waters getting it again. The shot comes through. There you see the puck just going off the glass behind the net, controlling it behind the net, moving it in front. We have Paul McLean. There we see John Devan in front, but the puck comes across to Paul McLean, just moving across. Here's Paul all by himself in front of the net. The puck comes through, and he just fails to get the lumber on it. Whoops, he had the whole open side there. If he sticks on the puck, it's in. Play is back underway now. Canada still with one man advantage. Now one penalty has ended. The puck is out to the blue line. Getting set out there as Anderson. The shot is clear to the side of the net. And a shot is blocked and is brought out to center ice. After it on the far boards, Borjak. 24 seconds left in the second penalty. As Canada comes out with the puck again. Maxwell to the far side for Anderson. Anderson over the line and he had trouble with it just as he hit the line and put himself offside. 14 seconds left in the penalty to Coverley. There you see Warren Anderson played in Oshawa as a junior. Five years at the University of Toronto under Tom Watt. Two times All-Canadian University Hockey. Also played a year in Malmö, Sweden. Lots of international experience on this team. Over the line now, it's Barry. Barry into the corner. Leads it along the boards to this side now. Greg started in after it. Now he's got it. Flips it around in the corner on the far side. The penalties have expired against the boards. Flipped in. Now taking it there is Anderson. Anderson behind the net. Anderson flipping it out to the side of the net and unable to get his stick on it was Maxwell. And the puck is in the corner. Now out at center ice. Anderson again. Anderson, rink wide. Back for Greg. Greg over for Anderson. Anderson turning with it. Back to Greg. Now Canada will move up. At the blue line, Greg. Greg speeding a straight ahead past Maxwell. And it's cleared away by the goaltender, erasing any possible icing on the play. Greg gets it back at center ice. Greg over for Nil. Nil's over the line. Nil slammed in against the boards, but Maxwell's got the puck. Maxwell around the net, and he nearly got that one past the goaltender. Who had to be alert. A quick shot taken. Now behind the net. Back to get it, Naliba, number three. Naliba in the corner. Being checked by Neil. Clears it in front of his own net. Off the boards at center ice. It hops over the stick of Abraman. And way out of his net is Pajo. He scoops it off the ice and stops further play. The score, Czechoslovakia five, Canada one. Let's pause for a moment. Olympics double gold medal winner Andrea Mead Lawrence will be featured her event women's alpine skiing and what a great performance she put on back in 1952 in Oslo Norway here's a shot right on Pasho's down there on his knees and he makes the stop I'll tell you one thing I like the way he plays his position well he's very steady uh, not only I, I went to scout him twice I saw him play in Hull one night and another uh, Sunday afternoon in Sorrell in both games he was the player of the game 
perfect position to make that stop. Good potential screenshot there from the faceoff now. Taken by Waters. Waters having trouble in the traffic there with Peter Stusty out in front and Marianne Stusty shot it wide. Less than a minute remaining in the period now. In against the board. Taken by Marianne Stusty. Gets set. Drops it back from Peter Stusty. They hit the post with it. Now it's against the boards. Here comes Canada. Out to center ice, leading the Russians to Albies. He's over the line, the shot. And that one was blocked by Kralik. In against the boards, Waters. Waters in for Stepanczyk. And then back out to Waters, where it's pinned in against the uh, boards and held for a face-off. Well, Canada on the year, 1979-80. This is the Olympic team. Pretty impressive, really. And they played some pretty tough opposition at times. 25 victories, 11 losses. Lost three times to the Soviet Union in tournament play, I guess. Uh, just twice, correct that. On the faceoff now, Canada leading it over the far side. There's a shot coming in from the line, and the save in front of that net. Now a check is thrown by Halupa, number five. Buck is loose and taken by Abermann, number 12. He's the captain for Czechoslovakia. Abermann to the far board. Martinez back to Abermann to Martinez. Martinez getting to the front of the net. It's loose there and it's cleared away as the defense bottled up in front of goaltender Pajo. Behind the net, it's Greg. Greg backhanding a pass and it went right by Warren Anderson, but Devaney's got it. Devaney throwing it all the way through center rise, and that'll be the period. Well, they split the goals in the second period, a much better period certainly for Canada. So the score at the end of the second period is Czechoslovakia 5, Canada 1. The shots on goal after two periods of play, Czechoslovakia 20, Canada 15. We'll return with the third period. Coming up next, an Olympic preview, women's alpine skiing. And Anton Stastny fanned on that. The puck is brought back out to center ice. Head off on the boards now, trying to get around. He's got to roll it. Roll it. Oh, what a save. Taken there by Krelick. And he hangs on. So well, here we have another look at it here. Uh, we have uh, Lamroux just sliding it underneath the defender's stick to Devaney. Devaney sliding it back, getting the puck up. Kralik getting his body in front of the rebound coming down. And Kevin Primo, as always, that's one of the things Kevin Primo does. He drives to that net, being right there in case uh, the puck was dropped by the Czechoslovakian goaltender. The line is Devaney, Primo, and Lamoureux for Canada's roll in front right through a couple of legs there as Primo is again parked in front of that net. Now starting out for Czechoslovakia. Rick wide pass. Breach are trying to get over the line. Canada showing a little more life here in this period as Lamaru circles back into his own end. Now feeds it off on the far boards there. Devaney. Devaney shooting it up ice. Back to get it is Halupa. Out to center ice. Taken by Canada again. Backhanded in by Devaney. Racing in after it is Lamaru along with Primo, number 21. In against the boards on the far side. You see Novak. Feeds it away for Abramon. Abramon starting out at center ice. Abramon takes a hit there. Is coming across ice was Greg. And coming off the bench down over the line comes Canada with Maxwell. Maxwell tried to get it back to the point. It went right by Randy Gregg. Czechoslovakia back with it. Now Novak over the line. Try to feed it out in front. And a good defensive play there by Don Spring. It's out at center ice. Taken for Czechoslovakia by Pozar. Pozar dropping it back on the far boards. Dvorak. Dvorak is checked. And Canada again trying for it. Spring getting that puck, shooting it into the corner. Maxwell digging in after it along with Pozar. Pozar is behind the net. Pozar in against the boards. Maxwell fanned on it. It's cleared right through the legs of Spring down into Canada's zone. Racing in with it is Martinez. And he's chased behind the net by Tim Waters. Now Canada again on its way to center ice. At center ice, it's Maxwell. He's over the line, clears it to McLean. McLean out in front of the net. It's intercepted. Pop high in the air. And is held for a face off by goaltender Yussi Krelin. Well, Paul McLean twice tried to get the puck through. Kenny Berry was free on the far side. Had he been able to slide it over, Berry would have had a good opportunity as he broke around the defenseman. There we say Averman breaking away. And, of course, he's got great speed. Randy Gregg just coming across from the side. Just upends him with a terrific check. But Averman, the captain of the Czechoslovakian team, he's the speedster. 
Face off down in Czechoslovakian territory. Davidson out there along with Nil and Glenn Anderson. We're watching for this Anderson. Here's a chance right in front of the net. Off the face off by Ron Davidson. We're watching Anderson throughout the Olympic tournament. Youngster has tremendous potential. Puck is clear to the blue line. Not out. Good play there by Nil. Nil speeding it in. Past O'Malley. Puck hops high in the air. Now behind the net. And will be pinned against the boards there by Yizhev Bubla. And another face-off in the Czechoslovakian zone. And Terry O'Malley skating back to the blue line. A lot of years. Takes his home at Wilcox, Saskatchewan. Talked to Terry O'Malley last year. He was a coach of the Notre Dame midget team that played in the National Midget Championship. There's a shot. He coached that team, took them to the semifinals. A good hockey club. And Buck is pinned in against the boards by Nil and held there. There's a fellow who scored a lot of goals in junior hockey. Jim Nil, 47 goals with Medicine Hat three years ago. Comes from Hannah, Alberta, which is the same town that produced Lanny McDonald. Jim Nil. Drafted by the St. Louis Blues. Elected to play with Canada's Olympic team. Against the boards now. Canada, O'Malley shooting it in. Picking it up for Czechoslovakia. That's Marianne Stasny out at center ice now. Peter Stasny over the line there for Anton Stasny. Trying to get around the defense. Rolls it in front. Now's the chance. Right in front. They shoot. Oh, what a save there by Pasho. Canada out to the blue line now. Cadillac shoots it. It's wide of the net. In behind the net now. O'Malley beats it through the legs of... The four checker, and it's fed all the way down the ice by Glenn Anderson. Back to get it is Catletz, who's making his first appearance on the ice in this game. And it's called on the icing, and a face-off down in Team Canada's end. Well, here we see the two-on-one break. Terry O'Malley uh, coming back to pick up the last man. But Brad Peary doing a good job one-on-one -on -one against Stashny here, riding him, riding him. The puck comes loose uh, out in front. Uh, the forwards coming back, follow through on the check, but a good job done by Peary. With the score, Czechoslovakia 5, Canada 1. From the Montreal Forum, this is CTV's Wide World of Sports. Play underway from the faceoff in Team Canada territory. Starting out is Dalvis at center ice. Dalvis along with Pearsall. He takes the shot. It's blocked right at the goal by Kralik. And cleared out on the right wing for Yissi Bubla. Bubla at center ice. Stasny, Anton Stasny. Trying to find Peter Stasny in front who drops it back. And it to Marianne Stasny. And the shot. And it drips high into the crowd. Taken by Cadletz at the blue line. And Bajo has had a fair amount of work, but the shots on goal are slowly tightening up here. A little better, I think, a little more offense we've seen in the starting, I guess, about the 15-minute mark of the first period. I think things started to get going a little bit for Canada. Well, here's the Czechoslovakians moving in late. They like to do that. They like to come in late. Their defensemen aren't afraid to move right up into that slot, and that's what they did, coming over the blue line, the late pass, the shot Bajo deflecting right up over the net. Well, the three Stasny brothers are out there. Number two is Peter Stasny. Number 18 is Marion. And number 20 is Anton. And puck is cleared down the ice. On a two-line pass, so they'll take it back for a face-off near the top of the face-off circle in Team Canada territory. As you look at Team Canada's bench and Lauren Davis. Well, remember Lauren Davis playing defense and brought him out of retirement in 1966 in Ljubljana, Yugoslavia. i tell you some stories about that tournament. The officiating, the game against Sweden. Canada won. Now kicking it into the corner. Haberman. Haberman slammed against the boards. Try to shovel it away behind the net. Now Abermont again without a stick. And it's cleared away by Canada out to center ice. Now racing after it there is Dalvis. Dalvis over the line. Feeds it in front. Look at the shoot. He hit the side of the net. Great chance there by Jeff Lowell. I'm sorry. Zupancic. And we're going to get a penalty call. That is Zupancic who got the chance. But he went to the backhand and shot it into the side of the net. The penalty is being called for slashing. Well, here we have Delvis, who had just broken on the two-on-one, throwing it by Dvorak over to Zapancic. Zapancic tries to pull Kralik to his backhand. He does have some room. 
seems to just have it off the side of the net and going behind, but an opportunity and a penalty coming on the two-hander after the play uh, for uh, Czechoslovakia being short at this time. So we'd like to get back with a power play goal here. Well, Martinets slashing. It's actually the call. Another face off now back to the blue line. A loop, uh, correction on the, at the blue line. Waters, he shoots it in there. And it's gloved by Krelik. And we'll have another face off to the left of the Czechoslovakian goal. The power play for Canada. John Devaney. Primo. Spring on defense along with Waters. As the puck is cleared down the ice, the other wingman uh, is Glenn Anderson. Now Spring, starting out. Spring to his blue line to center ice. Spring working down those left boards, beats it in over the line. Good play out of Primo. Primo rolls it in front. And it is passed out of the air, but it's still kept in. Now it's intercepted that pass. Waters put it right on the stick of Yussi Novak. He gave it away, but then got it again and cleared it down the ice. Spring behind his own net. Spring starting out. For Canada, stops up, gives it up at center ice for Dalvis. He hits the line, he stopped on the play, the puck against the boards. Anderson, cleared along the boards. Anderson's lost his stick, it goes right through the legs there of Randy Gregg, and at center ice, it is Anderson. Anderson to Gregg, Gregg ahead for Devaney. Devaney over the line, Anderson tried to make his move through the defense there, and Kamala didn't go for it. Now in behind the net. Into the corner it goes, taken by Primo, and cleared out to the blue line and down the ice, past Randy Gregg. He'll go back into his own end for it. Gregg, Gregg feeding it back. Anderson, Warren Anderson from behind his net. Out at center ice, the pass intended for Devaney. On the far boards, Primo, Novi, Novi unable to get loose, comes to an open wing. And taken by Coverley, circles back to his own blue line. 25 seconds remaining in the penalty. Canada hasn't done much on this power play as the puck is cleared into the corner. After it in there is Greg. Greg out at center right. Here comes Canada, two on one. Down over the line, Maxwell, he shoots right on. And Krelik hangs on. And we'll have a face off. Well, the 13th Olympic Winter Games from Lake Placid, New York, begin next week on CTV. February 14th will feature the men's downhill event, making the beginning of the Olympic Alpine skiing. Canada's hopes, of course, will be high as Ken Reed, Steve Podborski, and Dave Irwin all rank at the top of the world in their event. The 13th Winter Olympic Games next week on CTV. The face off, still inside the blue line. Nine seconds left in the power play. McLean try to control it. Comes out to the blue line. O'Malley keeps it in. Maxwell shoots it out to center ice. Racing down over the line is uh, Stasny. Stasny in front of the net for Bublé. Shot it wide as he went to his back. Canada, Canada comes back. The penalty is over. Coming out of his end now to center ice for Canada. It is Maxwell. Maxwell getting it again. Fed it to Barry who didn't see it. Now he's got it over the line. Barry. Dropping it back now. Here's McLean shot, and he's wide with it. Now against the boards. Still kept in by O'Malley. Maxwell, here's a shot up flat. Oh, what a shot by Ken Berry. And right on, they're starting to tee it up now, but they can't beat Krellick. Well, that's one of the things we work on. Here we see Warren Davis looking, but here's the pass, a nice soft pass coming across from Maxwell so that Berry doesn't have to set it up. He shoots it all in one motion, unfortunately. He didn't get any corners. He hit Krelik dead on with it. But he shot that. He didn't wait. He didn't wait as the puck came across. Maxwell making, you have to make that pass nice and soft. If you make it too hard, you've got to stop it and then shoot. And that extra time, the goaltender gets set. But a nice soft pass. And Barry was able to shoot all in one motion. All right, the face off. Anderson's out there along with Nil. And taking the draw for Canada is Ron Davidson. For the face off, cleared to Davidson. Davidson. Now against the boards, back to the blue line, kept in by Waters, up high in the air, Waters moving after it, now it's cleared in front of the net, off by two players, and behind his own net is Halupa. Halupa clearing it out to center ice, it went off the stick of Abramont, out of his net is Pajot. Pajot against the board, Spring lost it, here's a chance for Czechoslovakia, and they tried to roll it across the goal mount, but Martinets just couldn't make that pass click. Spring's got it, Spring ahead, knocked down at the blue line, Martinets has got it, Martinets ahead, Novak 
at center ice. Novak, and he passed it right past Abramon, and Spring's got it. Spring out at center ice. Abramon, Abramon turning with it. Spring gets it, gives it off the skate of Davidson back into Team Canada territory, and Waters has got it. Waters at center ice for Nil. Nil to the line. Nil just off the stick now of Anderson into the corner. Check thrown in there. Anderson's got the puck. Anderson trying to work it for the net. Anderson just made too many moves there. And finally, Czechoslovakia like covered up, bringing it out is Pozar. Pozar getting it away, but the shot went off a stick and winds up in the crowd. With a score, Czechoslovakia 5, Canada 1. Let's pause for a moment. And by Anderson. Anderson at center ice. Anderson hitting the line. Now Anderson with Davidson. It rolls to the over the line. Anderson getting set now. Trying to get set. And finally it's cleared away at center ice. Bringing it down over the line. Posar, Posar, Novi, the shot. There's a save. Pajo picking that one out of the air. Boy, I like the way he's played here in the second half of the game. forget the Olympics coming up and there you see the schedule of events you'll be seeing as part of our Olympic Games coverage at 8.30 on the 12th, 14th and 16th Eastern Time Hockey. Don't forget Canada versus the Soviet Union on February 20th. That'll be 5 o'clock Eastern Time and then the medal round coming up later on CTV's Olympic coverage. Back into his own end, Jan Zajacek. He shoots it out to center ice, taking it as Dalvis. Dalvis, Pearsall, drops it into his end for O'Malley. O'Malley at center ice. O'Malley hooked on the play, gets it again. O'Malley's over the line. O'Malley into the corner. Devani, or at least he's checked there by Coverley. And Coverley's got it again back out at center ice. Coverley hitting the line. Coverley trying to feed the wing. Gets it again as he took it off the boards. And it's cleared away. There's nobody there. Here comes Canada, three on one. Center ice, Dalvis has got it. He shoots and he shot it high up into the crowd. Wonder why he took the shot from exactly that position, considering the, the rush Canada had going. Well, actually, the, the Czechoslovakian team back checked pretty well. Uh, uh, Pansic was picked up and the drop man was there. Uh, it wasn't all that bad a play, and uh, uh, Delvis has a great shot, uh, perhaps the heaviest shot on the, on the club, and he, he likes to use it. Uh, maybe sometimes, as you say, Ron, too much, but there there was it was just a question. You know, sometimes you make, uh, if you make the pass and it goes in the net, you've got made the right play. If you shoot it and it goes in the net, that's also the right play. But he's got an outstanding shot. Well, the crowd has been reacting here, as you see inside Canada's net. A little bit of paper. Darts have been flying. Good crowd here at the Forum. Close to 9,000 to watch this game. As Montreal wishes well to Canada's Olympic team on their way to Lake Placid. That puck is cleared all the way down to Pajo in front of Canada's net. And uh, with Anton Stasny cutting right across the goal mouth, he covered that up and held it. Well, there you see Paul Peugeot, and we're happy about him, obviously. They haven't scored on him in the, the last half of the hockey game. We're happy with our hockey team, the way we've hung in the last half of the game. Well, you get rid of the early jitters, and it's actually not been a bad performance for Canada. But they got behind early and just have not been able to capitalize on the chances that they have had. Bobla back in his own end. He clears it out to center ice. That long lead pass. Anton Stasny's over the line. Coming up is Marion Stasny. And Stasny's chased off the puck. Now in there is Marion. They roll it along the boards and down into Czechoslovakia territory. And Bobla is back into his end. We've got less than a minute left in this hockey game. Bobla. Out over center ice, Stasny, that's Anton, over the line. Now Peter Stasny to Marion Stasny, back to Anton Stasny to Bubla. Out in front of the net, and it rolls to Pajo with Anton Stasny on the doorstep. And again, we'll have a face-off in Canadian territory with 45 seconds left in the game. One of the things you have to learn if you're a goaltender, here we see Stasny coming to the bench. One of the things you have to learn, you can kill the puck anytime it's around the net. It's not like in the National Hockey League. It's not like playing North America. If that puck is loose anywhere around the net and you kill it, get the face off. Smart play. On the face off now behind the net, Anderson, Warren Anderson. Two Andersons on this team. Here's a chance. There's a shot right on. Now cleared away. Here's a chance for Novi. The shot. And it's wide of the net. We have 30 seconds left. Behind the net, Pajot steps out, flips it into the corner for Warren Anderson. Anderson, Pirelli couldn't get it at the blue line. Anderson gets it again, flips it up into the Czechoslovakian bench. 
And it's called for a face-off with 20 seconds left. Well, I'd like to thank CFCF Television here in Montreal for supplying the facilities here at the Montreal Forum for today's telecast. Ed Purcell, our director. Thanks, boys. Face-off will be outside the blue line. Taken by Randy Gregg. Greg rolls it down to the Czechoslovakian blue line. Greg gets it again. Greg tried to make a good move, and had he got a little more momentum going, he would have been home free going in as he was got around Dvorak. Now inside the blue line with four seconds left. This hockey game is going to end with the play in center ice for the final score in this final tune-up for Team Canada. Czechoslovakia got into a big early lead. They had a 4-0 lead by the 12-36 mark of the first period. After that, they played pretty well even, dividing the goals through the second and third period. The final shots on goal, Czechoslovakia 29, Canada 25. The final score is Czechoslovakia 5, Canada 1. This is CTV's Wide World of Sports. There you see the Molson International Award winners, the ceremony at center ice, and Tim Waters, the defenseman for Canada, the outstanding player for Canada's Olympic team in this final exhibition game, and the goaltender for Czechoslovakia, who played a pretty good third period. He was under a bit of pressure, Jusik Kronik, and uh, so there you have it. And there's the scoring in the game. Czechoslovakia had a 4-0 lead, 12 and a half minutes into the game. After that, they divided goals in the second period. Jusik Novak made it 5-0, and then Jim Nil with Canada's only goal.